All right, so we've done a lot of setup here, but uh, at the end of the day, if, we're, if we look at our index page here, this still isn't dynamic. Um, we've laid the groundwork for it, but we're still just loading this uh, page.php as our view, and we want to be able to make that change depending on what kind of post is loaded. Now, in order to do that, we're going to need to know what the uh, page type is. Now, we, if we flip over to a browser here, we have that information here in the page array. However, we're, like I said, this is a trade-off for using an integer uh, and saving a little bit of memory, is that all we have is the number. So we need to figure out a way to convert that number into the actual page type so that we can figure out which file to load. So let's come back over to data PHP, the uh, functions here, and we're gonna create another function and uh, I'll just do it above data post here. So type function data and call this post type. And we'll send it the DBC comma send it the ID as well. And this will be the ID of the post type. So this is really going to be similar to what we just have done down below here on line 29 and 28. And we just need to run a query to get that post type. So really, let's just go ahead and save time. And we'll copy line 28 through 31. Paste that within here. And we're going to change the table we're looking for into post underscore types. And let's go ahead and change this here to where ID equals ID. And then we're going to save that information here in this data array. And then we need to return it. So now we have a way to figure out what this is. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go into setup.php and here after we've grabbed the page array we now have access to that post type number or ID. So let's create another array here. We'll call this view equals data post type and we're going to send it dbc comma and then the id is going to be we're going to grab that from the page array so page and this will be type so I'll save that and let's go ahead and really quick let's throw this in our debug widget let's open up debug here in the widgets folder and uh, let's just go ahead and copy line 33 through 29 and then paste it below and we'll call this the view array and we'll print out view and save that hop over to the browser and refresh open up our debugger scroll down and there we go now we have that information so now we can dynamically load that view. So really quick, let's hop over to Uptana, go to index.php, and we will change this here, delete the word page, put in a single quote, because we're gonna concatenate another dot here. And here between the dots or periods, we're gonna load the view name. So get into the view array here and the key, if you flip back over here to the browser, it's going to be name, just like in the database. And we'll save that. Go reload the page and make sure that that loads properly. Sure does. So now we've got our view set up and we're going to be able to do a lot more fun stuff um, and you know, kind of look at these views as, as kind of a template um, for the content area. So you know, maybe 
this is a page view. Maybe we'll have a different kind of view that has like a sidebar on it or something like that. I don't know. Sky's kind of the limit here. 